اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم ٹو اے ویری انٹرسٹنگ لیکچر ٹوڈے وچ از انٹرسٹنگ اینڈ آلسو ویری ویری امپورٹنٹ ریگارڈنگ یور ایگزامس ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو سالو نیومیریکلس اینڈ پرابلمس ریلیٹڈ ٹو دی فاؤنڈیشن انجینئرنگ اینڈ ریلیٹڈ ٹو دی ڈفرینٹ تھیوریز وچ وی discussed in the past few lectures so i hope the screen is visible and my voice is clear as well please confirm yes sir it is okay yes sir. okay thank you very much now today i'm going to request you to please kindly note down a few equations and a few tables and few figures you can take the screenshot or you can take the pictures uh, as you need to do that okay so please kindly note down these two equations this is the terzaghi's bearing capacity equation and here is the terzaghi's bearing capacity equation including the shape factors so please kindly note down these two equations before going into the solving the numericals and examples we need to remember a few equations and we also need to remember the shape factors and bearing capacity factors then you can take a screenshot of this table or you can memorize that the shape factor for the strip footing would be equal to 1 1 so it's s c and s gamma similarly for the circular footing we will be having s c and s gamma 1.3 and 1 0.6 respectively for square footing we will be having s c 1.3 and s gamma would be 0.8 now for the rectangular footing we need to use this equation and for the s gamma we need to find out using this equation so you can take the screenshot or a picture using your cell phone so that we will be referring to these tables and equations then please can we take a screenshot of this figure as well this is the terzaghi's bearing capacity equation uh, bearing capacity factors where we will be finding out the nc nq and n gamma values uh, depending upon the friction angle so you can please take the picture or screenshot of this figure as well if you want you can take a picture of this table okay take a picture of this table as well we are will be using the unit weight which is used for the second term and third term depending upon the location of the uh, water table so as we discussed wasim ask about the question that which equation we need to use so you need to use this equation to find out the height of the which beneath the foundation and the rest if you want to find out the unit weights so you can use this equation or you can you note down this equation please for the time being that if the third term is affected so you can use this equation and please kindly note down this equation as well which is the meerhof bearing capacity equation you can take screenshot or you can note down because these are very important equations which will be used in today's examples and numericals so as convenient you can take a screenshot or you can take a picture 
or you can note down these equations for finding the bearing capacity factors, shape factors, and depth factors. Now we can find out the KP as well. The inclination factors, please kindly take a screenshot of the inclination factors as well. I C, I Q, and N I gamma. And we also discussed about the eccentric loading. So you can note down this equation, which is the EB or eccentricity in the direction of the width of the foundation would be equal to the movement in the direction of the width of the foundation divided by the vertical load. And similarly, the movement in the length of direction of the length of the footing divided by the a vertical load which is applied onto that foundation. Effective widths and effective lengths to EL, that's the correction, and the effective area, please note down these equations as well. In order to find out the maximum and minimum bearing pressures, you can note down these two equations, or you can take the screenshot, because we will be referring to these, and today you are going to solve uh, by yourself all these problems. I will be guiding and helping you, because all the equations and the bearing capacity factor, shape factors, and all the equations are known to you because you have noted down. So today you please kindly take the calculator, pen, and a paper there so that we can solve various numericals and problems. Okay, so I think so it's a good time to start with For example, if we are given with a foundation and the dead load is 500 kilonewton per meter. The live load is equal to 300 kilonewton per meter. Now here, the depth of the footing is also given, which is 0 0.7 meter the width b will be equal to we need to find out okay we need to find out width b where the cohesion is equal to zero and friction angle is equal to 40 degree unit weight equal to 17 kilonewton per cubic meter and the factor of safety
is equal to 3. Now, the water table information is also given. Here is the water table. Now, what we need to find out, we need to find out B. Please kindly start solving the problem. And as we move on, if you face any problem, please kindly let me know that where you need my help. So here, the unit weight would be 17 kilonewton per cubic meter. And this is the saturated unit weight. And that would be equal to the 20 kilonewton per cubic meter. And we need to find out the width of the foundation. And this is the example related to the strip footing. Hoshim, is it clear? The problem is clear? Do you understand? Do you have any question? No So how we are going to solve Wasim? Any thoughts? Yes, please. So tell it Q ultimate and sir. Okay, so we need to find out the Q ultimate. This is a good start. So first, then, then we will find out the Q safe, right? And then? So how we are going to find out Q ultimate? If we don't have the B. B is unknown. How we are going to find out the ultimate bearing sir, capacity? Sir. Okay, good, good, excellent point. So we can take B term into that equation. And how we are going to do that, for example, the Q ultimate will be equal to, what should I write here? OK, give me the value of Q ultimate. That is a good point, starting point. I need three values of Q ultimate, OK? Value number one, value number two, and value number three. Those who are giving me the Q ultimate value will get maximum sessional marks. That will be counted as your class participation.
what is the value of q ultimate or ultimate bearing capacity value this is the problem where we are having dead load of 500 km per meter and live load of 300 km per meter the unit weight above the water table or the foundation level is 17 km per cubic meter depth of the foundation shear strength parameter saturated unit weight and factor of safety information is given we need to find out the width of the foundation for a strip footing so far we know that we need to find out the q ultimate is it clear now Sir, 967.4 plus 511.33 B. Wait. Okay, let me note down. 9. 67. 67.4. 4. 4. And plus. Plus. 511.33. 511.33. Into B. B. Or X zero. Anyone else? Your name, please. Visam. Visam. Yes, sir. Let, okay. Let me. Visam Subhan. Okay. Thank you for one value. Anyone else? So Vissam has contributed in the discussion. I have noted down during the class fourth, fourth lecture, that is I need a second value as well for the ultimate. This is a very fundamental concept which you need to address while solving problems during assignments and quizzes and obviously during the exams sir dusri 2400 by b hogi jo right side pe hum likhenge factor of safety se q applied multiply kar 2400 divided by b hogi your name please visam So, same with some, you are again given. What would be the Q ultimate? For this case of the strip footing, if you want to find out the width of the foundation, Wasim said that we need to find out the ultimate or the Q ultimate first, and then we need to. Mm -hmm. Sir, 
मेरे साथ फोर सिक्स फोर्टी सिक्स फिफ्टी दी रहा है थर्ड वे भी ट्वेल्व अल्टीमेट की ओके फोर्टी सिक्स फिफ्टी बी इनटू बी फोर्टी सिक्स ओके जस्ट वेट अ मोमेंट ऑन फोर्टी सिक्स इनटू बी फोर्टी इनटू सिक्स सिक्स फिफ्टी सर फोर्टी फोर्टी इनटू इनटू सिक्स फिफ्टी Forty into six, sir. Four zero six five zero into B. Four zero. Okay. Four zero six five zero. Four zero six five zero. So into B. Into B. Okay. So we need to remove that. Now, which one is the correct? Q ultimate. Because we got three readings. मेरे साथ भी कुछ आ रहा है सर. वसीम, which one is? Yeah. So I need I need your help here. सर मेरे साथ सर सर मेरे साथ तो आ रहा है nine forty four plus eight fifty भी आ रहा है सर. Nine fifty fifty four. Forty four. Okay, forty four nine forty four. Yes, sir. Plus eight fifty B. Plus eight fifty. Yes, sir. B. B. Sir, my okay. side to seven zero two. What is it? Eight fifty. Eight fifty three point four B. Seven zero two plus eight fifty three point four B. Three B point four B. सर मेरे साथ सर आता है नाइन सिक्सटी सेवन पॉइंट फोर सेवन प्लस एट फिफ्टी थ्री पॉइंट फोर बी ये तो बहुत डिफरेंट वैल्यूज हैं नाइन सिक्सटी सेवन प्लस प्लस एट फिफ्टी थ्री पॉइंट फोर बी एट फिफ्टी थ्री पॉइंट फोर बी एनीवेज ये तो डिफरेंट वैल्यूज आ रही हैं सो वी आर गेटिंग डिफरेंट वैल्यूज but i would say that this value might be the right value how we are going to solve it right now because we are given with the factor of safety and the q ultimate and the q applied okay and how we got that we will get the q ultimate from this equation and we already know that the factor of safety is 3 and dead load plus live load divided by the area now dead load is 500 and live load is 300 kN per meter so basically it would be 800 divided by b into l and as this is strap footing so we can assume l is equal to 1 so in this case q ultimate will become Agree? Is it clear? Yes, sir. Okay. So now we got the Q ultimate. Now what's the next step? I would call that as step number one. So what's the next step? What do we need to find out next? what should be the step 2 q ultimate in terms of b find karenge right, on right left side right side or q ultimate we need to find out in terms of b that's a good point but before that we need to do something which is also very important what should be the next step height of bridge
let me give you a hint okay now the friction angle we are given is 40 degree so i i need i need nc and q and n gamma values can you hear me please confirm yes sir sir n q equal to 80 sir c n q and n gamma okay so in let me okay please repeat n c equal to 100 sir okay this is 100 n q equal to 80 this is 80 100 sir again 100 again 100 anyone who wants to differ with these or uh, disagree with this these uh, values sir table may thoda sa different hai okay table may thoda sa different hai what are those values please say it sir, uh, nc is equal to 95.7 95.7 nq is equal to 81.3 81.3 okay and gamma is equal to 100.4 100.4 please check there that it's written that is terzaghi's bearing capacity factors because we are also given with the mirhoff bearing capacity factors as well and we are also given with the terzaghi's bearing capacity factors as well okay what else any other difference तो हम एक्रूसिमेट लेते हैं सर कोई इंटरपोलेशन वगैरह भी यूज़ नहीं करते सर तो ओके लेट मी लेट मी सी बाय माय सेल्फ एस वेल दैट व्हाट आर दोस वैल्यूज ओके एनीवन वांट्स टू ऐड प्लीज ऐड सर ये टेबल की वैल्यू टेबल में जो है सो ये ही वैल्यू है अच्छा टेबल में ये वैल्यूज गिवन है फिगर से फाइंड करें चलें फिगर से मुझे बता दें और फिगर के लिए जो वसीम ने बताई है ठीक है जो वसीम ने बताई है वो ठीक है फिगर के लिए ओके सो एप्रोक्सिमेटली ऑलमोस्ट सेम है यहाँ पे भी ऑलमोस्ट सेम है और यहाँ पे भी ऑलमोस्ट सेम है I would say slight difference here. वो सीम अगर आप थोड़ा सा इसको चेक कर लें फिगर के साथ ये 95 के करीब है या 100 के करीब है ये चेक कर लें इसको इस वैल्यू में थोड़ी सी जो है ना वो थोड़ा ज़्यादा डिफरेंस है 100 के करीब है सर फिगर में तो पता नहीं चलता सर अच्छा बच्चे ने ठीक है ये almost 96 है 900 तो ये काफी करीब आ रहा है अच्छा based upon I would say assume NC की वैल्यू अगर मेरे ख्याल में C वैसे भी zero ही है तो इसका इफेक्ट तो हमारे पास खत्म हो जाता है तो जो first term है ना वो first term तो हमारे पास वैसे भी equal to zero हो जाएगा आपने मुझे Q ultimate देनी है कि Q ultimate क्या है Q ultimate हमें in terms of B दे दे ठीक है इन टर्म्स ऑफ बी इन टर्म्स ऑफ बी आपने मुझे क्यू अल्टीमेट फाइंड करके देनी है नाउ वी नीड टू टेक केयर अबाउट द यूनिट वेट्स एज वेल ओके इन द सेकेंड टर्म I would say this is the step number three. Sir, forty-one zero double one point four BRI. Okay, use gamma prime is equal to gamma saturated into gamma W, which will be equal to. 10.2 kilonewton per cubic meter
this will be sorry this will be the third term okay because the second term is at the foundation level so we are going to use gamma prime would be equal to gamma okay so it would be 17 kilo newton per cubic meter this is for the second term and for the third term we are going to use gamma prime which will be equal to 10.2 kilonewton per cubic meter and which will give us the q ultimate of okay please say it right now sir gamma prime j 10.2 or 7.2 so 17 is 9.8 my subtract nahi karenge isme नहीं 17 तो जो है ना ये तो अबाउ द फाउंडेशन लेवल है वाटर टेबल यहां पे तो सेकंड टर्म जो है ना वो 17 लेंगे और जो हमारे पास ये सैचुरेटेड यूनिट वेट है सैचुरेटेड यूनिट वेट हमारे पास कितना है 20 है तो 20 minus 9.81 कितना आता है ठीक है सर 20 गिवन है तो पता नहीं था यस 20 इज गिवन 20 इज गिवन हियर यू कैन सी या हियर Okay. Sir, B Q value, sir, sir. 2.14 meters, sir. Okay, this is very good. Now we need a B value. So Q ultimate in terms of B, and then you will find out B. Okay, give me the B value. Q ultimate in terms of B. Use the Zaghi's bearing capacity equation and give me the B uh -huh. value. Sir, 9, 67. Okay, wait, I, need, okay I need the width of the foundation value, but please wait. Okay, first value, one by one. Sir, 2.14 meter, sir. 2.14 meter, uh, name please? Ijaz. Okay, Ijaz. Other value, please. 1.42 meter. 1.42 meter. Name, please. Vesam. Vesam. Okay. Now, another value, please. Sir, 1.42 meter. 1.42 meter. Name. Amal. 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 Okay. Any other value, please. Okay, these we will go with the two readings which is the same, and that is one point four one with me, one point four one meter, but it's perfectly acceptable with the one point four two if you came up with this answer now here is another problem i hope you noted down these Now we are given with another problem, for example, here is B equal to three meter and the depth of the foundation is equal to one meter. Now the vertical load is applied 
at this point and this is equal to 282 kilonewton per meter horizontal load is applied 1 or 2 kilonewton per meter this is the center and the resultant of this for example the centricity e in b direction or width of the foundation is equal to 0 0.36 meter shear strength parameters information is also given c prime is equal to 0 phi prime is equal to 35 degrees the unit weight of the soil is 18 kilonewton per cubic meter we need to find out the factor of safety against shear failure against shear failure okay so the vertical load is given vertical load is given horizontal load is given eccentricity eb is given width of the foundation is given depth of the foundation is given what else you need okay you need the shear strength parameters and now we need to find out the factor of safety against the shear failure from here to start effective width sir effective width that's a good point okay that's a good point to start with so we can say that we can start with the step number one effective dimensions I would call that to so with the effective dimensions for example we are only given with the B prime so what would be the value of B prime 2.28 yeah so that would be b minus 2 eb b is 3 and that is 2 0 0.36 will give us 2.28 meter that's done now please use the mayor hof bearing capacity factors and give me the values for phi equal to 35 degrees I need the values for NC NQ and N gamma using Mayerhoff bearing capacity factors are the equations NQ 33.3 okay this will be 33.3 NC is equal to 6.3 this is 6.3 46.3 46.3 okay 
and n gamma is equal to 37.16 37.16 okay name please visam visam is getting highest sessional marks from my side and if he is having any problem in the assignment quiz he can come and meet me and tell me that sir why you have deduced these marks from my assignment and quiz because he's contributing during the class okay so any other values for n c n q and n gamma for phi equal to 35 degrees sir n q 39 okay so i got another value n q is 39 and what well, how about the nc and n gamma sir nc 53 and uh, NC is 53. Okay. How about N gamma? I need consensus on N gamma as well. Sir, my side, N Q 33.29 or N or gamma? N Q, sir. Or N C B put it. Sir, N gamma 37.14 or sir. 37.14, okay. Yes. This is N gamma, good. Or uh, how about uh, N Q? Sir, 33.29. 30.29, okay. NC support 46.11. 46.11. Your name, please? Hazrat Bilal, sir. Hazrat Bilal, okay. Hazrat Bilal, this is Wissam. Who gave me the 53 for NC? Anas, sir. Muhammad Anas. Anas, okay. Now, I think so. I got an Q value which is close to the 33. Yes, so this an Q value is 33. Uh, Wasim, you want to uh, add to these values? No, sir. Sir, this is my key case. Sir, 46.13 NC key lady case. Okay, in game, my key is 38.3. Yes, sir. Okay, 48.3? Net 38.3, sir. In game okay, 38.3. Okay. I have 37.14, I guess. 37.14, this is the value. Um, how about the KP value? What's the KP value? 3.69. 3.69. Okay. Yes, now... For the shape factors, because C is equal to zero, so NC value basically it doesn't matter, but it's it's okay. So we will take N Q thirty three N gamma thirty seven point one four. Okay, now as it's strip foundation because length is 
greater than the width, width of the foundation, so it's a long retaining wall, and B prime divided by L prime will be equal to zero, and SC, SQ, S gamma will be equal to one. And this will come up from the table, which I told you to take the screenshot of. Now, we got the, N, the NC, NQ, and gamma values. Now we need to find out the shape factors. We got the shape factors. How about the depth factors? Now we will find out the depth factors. Please give me the values for DC, DQ, and D gamma. KP is 3.69. Please kindly solve these problems along with me because it will really help you in solving your assignments, quizzes, uh, and exams questions. Sir? Yes, okay, please. One point one six eight, sir, at the ADC, sir. One point one six eight, okay. Yes, sir, sir, ADC one point one six eight. One six eight. Okay, two, well, I got two values uh, similar. 1.16, sir, same. Okay, got it. Now, DQ. Sir, 1.08, sir, I said. One point zero eight four. So, you don't know, same as yes, sir. One point zero eight four. Okay, good. How about the DQ values? The D gamma, same, yes, sir. same is equal to here, is equal to here, is equal to here. Perfect. Okay, now. How about the inclination factors? Before starting the inclination factors, what would be theta? 35 here, sir. Sir, IC 0 0.373 at that, sir. 3.373. Yes, sir. Okay, let me correct that. Zero point three seven three. I see IQ and I gamma. I C, I Q, and I gamma are the inclination factors. Sir, I C or I Q do I have 0 0.61? Okay, that may not down. I C and I Q would be 0 0.61. One. Okay. I, I, I gamma is equal to 0 0.19. 0 0.19. Name, please. Visam. Visam, you are doing a great job. Thank you. Vasim, do you want to check your uh, IC value? Yes, 
ये सरे से सर 0.60 आता है सर गुड ओके सो नाउ वसीम इज एग्रीइंग विद यू वी गॉट टू वैल्यूज anyone who wants to challenge with some values for the iq and i gamma or should i go and accept these values the i gamma ko 0.2 aata hai sir acha theek hai to same hai sir no okay 0.20 same that's fine i'm okay yes, with that if you are using 0.20 if you are using 0.19 uh, okay that's good anyone else yes sir yeah point 2 aaya mera sir mohammad anas bhi agree kar rahe hain attendance le lete hain thodi si sabar kare kitne मौजूद हैं और कितने एब्सेंट हैं ओके नाउ वी गॉट द bearing capacity factors we got the shape factors we got the depth factors and we also got the inclination factors now please use use merhoff's bearing capacity equation and give me the ultimate bearing capacity value please sir ye factor thoda se bana dikha de show kar de sir kya cheez dikha do ye factor jo sir inclination factor aur ye jo point kiya hai isme factor ye abhi humne find kiye hain i think so we agreed on 33 okay we grid with the nq think so this will be equal to 0 because c is equal to 0 so you don't worry about this nq is 33 and gamma you can use 37.14 it is the no, depth no. okay depth. then then we will go to the depth factors now shape factors 1 and depth factors i think so 1.168 1.084 and that would be equal to 1.084 and 1. for d gamma as well okay now then uh, inclination factor i guess we agreed on 0.60 or 61 and 0.61 for iq as well and 0.19 or 0.20 for i gamma so it's okay if you choose any one now i need q ultimate value the reason we are doing it here is that you need to you know enhance the capability or capacity that how you can calculate and how quickly you can calculate and that's the test which is also been done in uh, exam as well if you are given the time constraint that within 1 hour within 3 hours you need to solve that paper or that quiz or that assignment so it's also practicing that skill here during the class which will help you in solving and reaching to these answers you know within the given time frame so please can you give me three values of the ultimate bearing capacity using shape factors bearing capacity factors depth factors inclination factors
Now you can also give me the factor of safety value as well, okay? And then give me the factor of safety value as well. Is gamma kitna hai ta sir? Is gamma? Same one. Yes sir. So retaining wall. Yes please. Sir 522.98. Kya ultimate sir? Okay 5. 22.98 kilopascal. Yes, Name, please. Hazrat Bilal. Sir. Hazrat Bilal. I will write HBS here. So, now, anyone else? Visam, Wasim, Anas. I need two readings. Sir, 564.61. Visam? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Sir, my is at 511.104. Kitna? 511. 511? I would write that as. And. All right, we'll see. And how about the factor of safeties? What would be the factor of safety? So three point eight. Factor of safety, second and third value, please. And then we will go for the factor of safety. Ultimate load. Or PU, I would call that. Sir, 1,165 1, ATA, sir. OK. I need two more readings as well, please. Sir, P ultimate. Yes. 
सर मेरे साथ फाइव जीरो नाइन आता है सर फाइव हंड्रेड एंड नाइन पॉइंट सिक्स फाइव ये तो आप क्यू अल्टीमेट की बात कर रहे हैं यस सर ओके क्यू अल्टीमेट फाइव जीरो नाइन ओके फाइव इलेवन आई विल टेक दैट एज फाइव टेन दैट्स फाइन थैंक यू फाइव ओ नाइन इज ऑल्सो देयर योर नेम प्लीज सर फवाद इकबाल फवाद ओके सर पी एल टीमेट मेरे साथ फिफ्टीन सिक्सटी सिक्स आ रहा है सर 1566. Okay. I need a third value as well. Third and last value. सर 1676.08 1676.01 किलो न्यूटन पर मीटर आई वुड से मोर क्लोज टू दिस वन बट लेट्स सी यू नो ओके I have the Q ultimate value which is close to 563 kilopascal and the P ultimate value which will be 563 and we need to multiply it with the area and that area 2.28 is B into 1 yes the 2.28 So 2.28 would be here, and this will give us 1283 kilonewton per meter. That's okay. Now we will go with the factor of safety, and the factor of safety would be P U divided by P applied. So 1283, and if we divide that by 282, we'll come up with factor of safety of 4.5. Now there is another problem. Uh, let me summarize the previous problem first so first of all how we started we started with the eccentricities okay so we will start with the eccentricities and then we will find out the bearing capacity factors then we will start with the shape factors and then we will start with the depth factors we will also find out the inclination factors and we will use the meerhof bearing capacity equation and then we find out 
the Q ultimate, P ultimate, and then we find out the factor of safety. So that's how we solve the previous problem. For example, now in the current case, if you look at the top view, the dimensions, the foundations would be something which are given here. This is 0 0.4 meter and here is also 0 0.4 meter. x-axis this is y-axis movement is occurring and that mb would be equal to 360 kilonewton meter and ml would be equal to 450 kilo newton meter the eccentricity which is EB, please confirm that you can hear me and the screen is visible. Yes, yes sir. sir, it is okay. Okay, thank you very much. So EB will be equal to 0 0.2 and EL will be equal to, or I would say, would be equal to 0 0.25 meter now please note down these numbers because we are going to use this in solving the example and if we are looking the cross-sectional area cross-sectional view sorry please problem device are really indicated okay sir okay Not down we कर सकते हैं depend करता है कि किस तरीके से आप उसको करना चाहते हैं अच्छा उसमें हमारे पास ये effective area आता है effective area हमारे पास जो आ रहा है तो हमारे पास ये distance B है ये two e x है हमारे पास इक्वल है 0.4 ठीक है और ये हमारे पास 2 EY है वो भी 0.4 मीटर के बराबर है सॉरी 0.5 ये 0.5 मीटर के बराबर है ठीक है now here we are given with 0 0.4 meter column the vertical load which is applied here would be equal to 
1800 kilonewton and the moment which is applied in the direction of b with 360 kilonewton per meter the depth of the foundation One point eight meter and I guess the water table depth is equal to six point one meter and here undrained friction angle is equal to thirty six degrees C is equal to twenty kilopascal effective unit weight would be equal to unit weight eighteen kilonewton per cubic meter and what we need to find out we need to find out the Q allowable with the factor of safety equal to 3 So this would be L prime and this one would be the B prime. L prime and B prime. Is the question clear? Yes. Sir. Okay, let me give you a hint here, then we will start with the solution. The hint is start with the water table effect. And then figure out the eccentricities find out the shape factors sorry the bearing capacity factors shape factors Also find out the inclination factors and find out the Q ultimate using Meyerhoff bearing capacity equation and then you can find out Or here somewhere you need to find out the depth factors as well and I would write that as depth factors and then you can find out the Q safe using the factor of safety equal to 3 
So start with the water table effect. One by one we are going. We will discuss first the water table effect, whether the effect is there or not. And for water table effect, you need to use the equation. B by 2 tangent 45 plus V by 2. Okay. Give me the H value height of the wedge. H value, please. Uh, 1.766. Which is less than 6.1. So, no effect of water table. Or we can also say the depth of the water table. Now, for the case of eccentricities, how about the EB? 0 0.2. Perfect. Okay, 0 0.2. And how about the EL? 0 0.25. Excellent. 0 0.252. And how about the effective dimensions? Yes. Effective length is equal to 1.4 and effective length is equal to 1.3. Yes, sir. Oh, sir, effective area is 1.82. Yes, Excellent. Okay, so we are going for the area. How much was the area? 1.82, sir. Okay. Now, for the case of Meerhof bearing capacity factors. N C N Q and N gamma. Sorry, N C Q value mere paas sir fifty point five eight aati hai sir. Okay, N Q thirty seven point seven five. N gamma forty four point four two. Okay, and for the shape factors, SC, SQ, S gamma. Okay, we will go here. What's the value of KP? First. 3.85. 3.85. Now we can say that S, C, S, Q, and S, Gamma, which are the shape factors, values kya aayenge samajh aa rahi hai ke slow ja rahe hain ya tez ja rahe hain anas yes sir yes sir aa rahi hai samajh sir wo screen thoda share kare jisme b dash aur l dash ki values thi wo aa jayegi koi masla nahi b prime yes sir aur l prime jo hai na hamare paas hai 1.3 और हमने 
एस सी एस क्यू और एस गेम फाइंड करना है अभी थोड़ा सा वेट करें ठीक है ना वन पॉइंट यहाँ पे लिखते हैं वन पॉइंट एट टू एट टू आई नीड अनदर वैल्यू हेयर एज वेल यस सर वन पॉइंट एट टू यही है आई नीड अनदर वैल्यू एज वेल प्लीज सेम सर वन पॉइंट एट थ्री सर सेम ओके आई डोंट नो मेरे पास तो वन पॉइंट सेवन वन फाइव है लेकिन चले सही है अच्छा फिर एस क्यू की वैल्यू वन पॉइंट फोर वन से ओके वन पॉइंट फोर वन यहाँ पे मेरे पास वन पॉइंट थ्री फाइव एट है आप अपनी यूज कर लें कोई मसला नहीं है डेप्थ की फैक्टर्स की जो हमारे पास अच्छा एस गैमा एस गैमा विद बी सेम ठीक है अब हमारे पास डेप्थ फैक्टर्स सो वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट दी डेप्थ फैक्टर्स डी सी डी क्यू एंड डी गैमा सर वन पॉइंट फाइव आ रहा है सर वन पॉइंट फाइव ओके गुड ये डी क्यू दे दें डी क्यू वन पॉइंट टू फाइव वन पॉइंट टू फाइव ओके डी गैमा और यही वैल्यू है वन पॉइंट टू फाइव वन पॉइंट टू फाइव आई एम ओके विद दिस वैल्यूज ओके सो हाउ अबाउट द इंटरनेशन फैक्टर्स इंक्लेनेशन फैक्टर्स इंक्लेनेशन फैक्टर की आई नीड वैल्यूज फॉर आई सी आई क्यू आई गैम सर इसमें क्या लेंगे सो नो हॉरिजॉन्टल लोड इज अप्लाइड ओनली मूवमेंट्स आर अप्लाइड दैट्स व्हाई द इंटीग्रेशन फैक्टर विल बी इक्वल टू 1 ओके यस सर सो वी विल टेक नो हॉरिजॉन्टल लोड्स ओनली मूवमेंट्स दिस विल बी इक्वल टू 1 सो नो इंक्लिनेशन व्हेन द इंक्लिनेशन वी ओनली फाइंड आउट व्हेन द हॉरिजॉन्टल एंड वर्टिकल लोड्स आर गिवन and then we need to find out that theta using this equation here no information is given so that's why we will take that as equal to 1 now apply the meerhof bearing capacity equation please or use Meerhof's bearing capacity equation. Okay, so we will start with these. If you want to note down, uh, you can note down these values. For example, if you want to note down B prime and L prime. If you want to note down these values for N C, N Q, and N gamma, or you can take the screenshot. Or you just take the picture from here. S C S Q and S gamma values 1.82, 1.41. D C D Q D gamma values 1.5, 1.25, 1.25. And I C I Q and an I gamma values equal to one. Now I need the Q ultimate value. Please one, two, three.
سر یہ شیف فیکٹرز کی ویلیوز ذرا شو کر دیں اوکے شو ڈو دیٹ 1.8 to 1.41 thank you sir سر کیو الاؤبل سیون ٹوینٹی ون آتا ہے سر سر میرے پاس کیو الٹیمیٹ تو Okay, huge variation. Sir, I have a few ultimate are 54.67.82 and uh, uh, 3 seconds of divide to 1822. Okay, Wasim, you want to revise your value please? These are too low. 5184 again, sir. 5184. Okay, good. Now, how about the first one? The Q safe. 1728, sir. 1728. Okay, I have the values uh, here for the Q ultimate with me, and that is 5688 kilopascal. And for the QSAFE, if you want to find out, it's 1896, mm, pretty much close, yeah, okay. So that's how we find out the Q ultimate and QSAFE. At the end, I will give you a 
short problem. Let me see if I can find it somewhere. Maybe it's just like a homework. No, I, I won't grade it, but you can solve it at home if you want. Let me do that. For example, if this is the foundation, kilogram of vertical load is applied and the depth of the foundation would be one meter width of the foundation would be B and if the density of the soil is 1850 kilogram per cubic meter and here we are given with the 35 degrees C prime is equal to zero footing is square footing okay. this is gross mass okay use the factor of safety equal to 3 we need to find out the b so how we are going to start the few graphs equal limit and the limit Okay, so let me go somewhere here. So we need to find out, first of all, we are given with vertical load. The 30,000 kilograms of the load is applied. Okay, we need to convert it into the kilonewtons. How we are going to convert that? If you want to find out the Q gross. We need to multiply that with 9.1 and 1000. We will get the 294.3 kilo Newton, right? And then we need to also find out the unit weight of the soil, in which we can find out And that's what we are going to use in the equation. We can use Terzaghi's bearing capacity equation for square footing. It would be plus Q and Q plus I mean, sir, Q ultimately with Q grass minus uh, unit weight D, sir. Now, we 
can say that so you can you will get the q ultimate here using this equation you solve it then you will know that what i'm saying now with the factor of safety of equal to 3 you will find out the q allowable which will be q ultimate divided by factor of safety or we can say that one third of this equation will come here okay then you will come up with the q allowable which will be q allowable by b square and that is equal to 294 divided by b square and if we equate those two equation this one and the previous one we will come up with the b equal to 0 0.95 Anyways, it's just like in homework, so I have given you an idea that how you can solve it. Please kindly try it at home. And if you have a problem, then please ask me. Thank you very much for participating in the class. Now, if you have any question, we will move towards the question and answer session. Thank you all for participating actively during the class.